we're here in Los Angeles, California. Ground zero for professional skateboarding. This is the finals for stop one of the 2015 Street League Nike SB World Tour. Tonight, eight of the best skaters on earth are all fighting for one thing, the title of Super Crown World Champion at the end of the season. But the path to world champ starts here, where the best will take on the best in a sold out arena. Welcome to Street League, only on Fox Sports 1. Skateboarding by the beach, how perfect is this? Welcome to sunny Southern California for the first arena stop of the Street League skateboarding season. We're just miles from Dogtown where this sport was born. Tonight at the Galen Center on the USC campus, eight of the best skateboarders in the world are here to put on a show unlike anything you've seen. This is Street League Skateboarding on Fox Sports 1. Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Whitley joined by Paul Zitzer. Paul, sold out crowd. We're here in LA. Couldn't think of a better place to have this stop. Absolutely not. The LA skateboard fans know skateboarding better than anyone in the world. They love it. I love it too. They know eight of the best skaters in the world going at it tonight. It's going to be an amazing show. Right, and the top eight have been narrowed down from a field of 23. So let's take a look at the starting lineup here. Evan Smith, rookie, qualified first. Luan Oliveira coming in with some heat. Cody McIntyre, Ryan Desenzo. You also have Chaz Ortiz, Nigel Houston, who hasn't lost since 2013 on a street league stop. And then Chris Cole, the veteran, and Kevin Hoffler. This is a stacked field, it Paul, is. when you look at the top eight, who stands out? Uh, well, obviously, we got to talk about Nigel Houston. Okay. Last year, he won every single stop. This year, he's number one on the world tour. He didn't have the best prelims, but you can't count him out. He's the man to beat at every single stop. And then I think we have to talk about Evan Smith. He's the rookie. The crowd absolutely loves him. He's a fan favorite. In the prelims, he was the only skater in the nine club. He qualified first. He could take it all here tonight. I'd love to see it. Well, he said that the guy who has the most fun wins right here at Street League. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to send things to the guys in the booth calling the action, Andrew Cannon and Jeff Rowley. Thanks for that, you guys. We're definitely going to have a lot of fun here at Street League. I'm super excited about that. Jeff, though, we got to get right into the format, OK? Things have changed up from last year, our first arena stop. This time, we've got the runs. They're going to be more important, and there's no elimination. How's that going to change things? It's going to level the playing field, man. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make guys, you know, try harder tricks without that threat of elimination, but it's also going to make the runs and scoring high on the runs that much more important. Absolutely. We talk about it. Why don't we find out exactly what the format is all about in the Nike SB Basics. Here you go. We've got two 45-second runs, and then we have the best trick section, five attempts. It's the top four scores overall, and there is no elimination. That is a different change from last year definitely going to make things super exciting. We also have a special course at this stop. It was designed by the 2014 People's Champ winner, Luan Oliver. To hear more about how Luan and Joe C. from California Skate Parks collaborated to create this course, let's check out the Nike SB Streetscape. What was nice about working with Lawan is he's basically inspired by local architecture. He actually loves and is inspired by the beauty out there in Brazil. So it's kind of easy to pick up and play off of some of the local architecture, which really helped inspire this design. And some of the features and the colorways actually resemble a lot of the spots and stuff that he actually skates out there in Brazil. I like to skate fast. I like skating quarter pipes. I like going over ledges, skating ledges, going over bumps. What we try to do is change this park up a little bit. We put most of the action in the center with a little raised plaza in the center rather than the typical ends. And we have quarter pipe at each end of the park. What's going to happen now is you're going to be able to get back and forth a lot quicker, which is going to create a lot more opportunities for tricks and great lines. Hope you guys like the park. Peace. That right there, look at our course. Jeff, tell us about it, though. You know, we we see this course. It's way different than what we've seen before. You know, we have most of our stuff concentrated in the middle, and then we have the quarter pipes on the outside. Tell us, what is it going to take to really make an impression? Well, I think the guys that use the outside perimeter to keep their speed before they enter into the middle of the course, which is a lot more technical, a lot easier to miss your tricks. And when you miss tricks in the center of a course like this, it's hard to get that back. So I think the guys that can do good are the guys that use the whole course, keep that speed, get some good points. Do you have any predictions of guys that are going to use the whole thing like that? Evan, Evan Smith. Evan Smith, the guy we, we, you know, we talked about him earlier. We're going to keep talking about him. Hopefully he can do awesome out there. We're ready. Kelvin Hoffler, our first guy in, qualified in in eighth place. Starting off with full speed right there. Looking very, very confident. 
Nice kick flip backside lip slide. Kelvin from Brazil, Sao Paulo. We heard Lon talk about speed in that uh, streetscape. Something uh, Kelvin's got out there. Nice half cap nose slide, 270 out. 20 seconds. Kelvin using the whole course. Oh, yeah. How did he make that one? Unbelievable that he hung on. A little piece of magic right there. That's determination. Oh. Nice start for Kelvin, first, first guy in. Here. Shake Four off the cobwebs. 7.5 right there for Kelvin Hoffler on his first attempt Hoffler. here in the run Again, section. And it's time for a GoPro, GoPro replay. As you look on the There's that half cab into the nose, 270 out the end. It's a look. Chris I'm Cole, up our Chris next Cole. guy in. Chris Cole, seasoned so vet. Cole, in He's got some place, titles under his belt second. here at Street League. 33 years old. One of the most powerful and progressive skaters of this generation and the one before. And probably the one after that. Yep. Like you said, Chris Cole has been a super crown world champion. Nice frontside blunt slide. He definitely knows what it takes. These guys are hustling right out of the gate. Frontside blunt there. What's he going for? Like here? you said, though, the new format. It's going to put a lot more emphasis on the run. Over the gap. And I think we're seeing it, too. These guys would look a lot more focused in their runs. They're definitely thinking about putting those lines together. Just off. All right, 10 seconds left for Chris Cole. 10 seconds for Chris Cole. Have time for one now, Chris is a guy that's used to all kinds of formats and contests. He's been there and done that. Oh, beautiful backside 360 Ollie. Probably the best guy in the world at that trick, or if not, one of the top few. Needs a 7.6 if he wants to get in the top. He gets a 6.6. .6. Chris Cole in second place. And once they get four scores on the board, it's all about trying to knock out their lowest score. That's how they're going to gain ground as we continue on with this competition. Nigel Houston qualified in in sixth place. And he's in for his first run. Nigel being the Going most prolific Street, Street League skater ever so win. far. Winning more money in the end. contest than anyone Nigel else by a long shot. Coming out strong. Fantastic skateboarder, very, very Speed consistent, board. very precise. Speed there. A lot of people have been talking this weekend about how this course is going to be difficult the for him because there's really no big section. But in the end, Nigel is an Nigel. incredible skateboarder. That's on the definitely going to make it harder clear. for him to get those All extra right, so little bits, bits left points, left you know? Definitely. Putting a nice run together, though, right now. Big spin. Five seconds. 50-50. Setting up for something else. Max that one eight nose grind. There you go. Ozier. That's called experience. So Nija up in if up in first place now with that 7.7. .7. Kelvin in second, Chris Cole in third. Our guy in yellow is the one skating. Our blue ones are the ones still to go. Chaz Ortiz next in. He needs a 7.8. Get up into first. Now, Chaz is one of the guys that's really good at putting lines together. Definitely a veteran contest skater. Grew up on the amateur scene, straight into the pro. He knows how to put a good line together and get points. He knows how to switch it up, too. Nice kick flip backside tail slide, keeping his speed. Very difficult to do in the center of that, that course. Long side to backside disaster. Backside disaster, 360 flip. Backside That backside 360 ollie. So we saw Chris Cole do the backside 360 ollie. Oh, and you saw Chaz with the three flip in. How's that? How's that for a line? That's some fast footwork right there. Some fancy footwork. What's he lined up for now? Oh, after time. That trick did not count. That one was after time right there. All right, let's see what the judges thought here. Chaz Ortiz with a great first run. Chaz Ortiz at 8.2. 8.2. Wow. Setting the bar. Rightfully so, that was a great run. All right, so Four more skaters in. Ryan Desenzo in next. 
He needs an 8-3 if he wants to move into that top spot. Coming from Canada, now living in Southern California. Very powerful skateboarder too. Stomps his tricks when he makes them. Doesn't matter how high he has to drop to make the trick, he's comfortable with all of it. Oh, kickflip crook grind gets away from him. Got two runs, we know he can do it again. Still plenty of time here with 25 seconds on. Ryan grew up riding the roughest concrete you could possibly imagine and conjure up in your head in Canada. So, smooth street league course, that's oh, nothing for him. Descendo. In fact, it's like Christmas. Oh, right, having a hard left. time with this runner. Same he thing, like I mentioned earlier on, the guys that hold that outside edge and before they go into the center in. are the guys that are going to keep their speed if they bail. Make All right, that will be and that's after, after time. time. So Ryan Desenzo going to be looking to his second Desenzo run there. Desenzo right there, first run. A little bit shaky, a bit shaky, yeah, looking very, models. very, very good so earlier in the day. 5.7, he's in fifth place. Three guys left to skate. In the first We're now five runs in. Here's some new blood right here. Now these guys are running in reverse order of how they qualified. So Cody McIntyre in third place. Cody extraordinarily consistent. Extraordinarily consistent, but with a really high level of tricks too. He does every trick full speed, like you saw that one. That was a nollie kickflip, long fakie. He's comfortable on transition. He's comfortable going switch as he is forward. Very, very confident skater. Skating with a toothpick in his mouth as well. Yeah, that's kind of sketchy and scary, but there you go. Each to their own. Nice backside tail slide, smooth, keeping that speed again. Switch heel flip back into the bank. He looks really focused. He looks like he's having a great time. This is his first time in an arena here at Street League. And you wouldn't know it, would you? Is that nolly big spin? Definitely not. A trick that he's very well known for, does it on the street down pretty much out of this. Like I said, lip slide to fakey. Switch 360 flip. There you go, called that one. Wow. Solid first yes. run for Cody McIntyre. Very solid first run. He's keeping doing tricks. He's not had enough. He wants more. All Give right, me more. 7.5. 7 Cody now up into third place where he qualified run. in. Two more skaters left to go here for our Cody first with an impressive run. first run. Two. Next in, next Luan Oliveira. Luan We've talked a lot about Luan. Luan helped place. with Joe C Into designing this course from Brazil, some of the fastest feet in skateboarding. You can expect a lot of things. If he can stay on, he's gonna have a lot of tricks in his runs. The one has, has came in very hot in almost every single Street League event he's entered in. Every time he steps on the course, you think, man, he's gonna take this one. You know, and just kind of, it gets away from him in the finals a lot of times. Even just watching the speed checks he does out there with the little mini power slides. It's possibly because he does about four times more tricks than most guys that by the time he gets to the final, he, he's slowing down a little bit. Nice kick flip. Nolly heel flip in, showing that technical ability. Switch tail slide 270. Switch front side kick flip. Very excellent first run, kickflip disaster on the quarter pipe, showing that transition's no problem. Ends it with that hard flip. See, he wasn't even happy with that, even though it was absolute perfection. That's the level of skateboarding that Luan Oliveira's at. 9.1, we've got a nine club on the first run for Luan Oliveira. How's that for warming up the crowd? You could tell he's feeling good about that. The crowd reacting. Nine club replay. Jeff Walker. And us here we this. have it. Beautiful textbook hard flip. It's called a hard flip because it's very difficult to flick your foot like that. Perfect landing, even though he wasn't happy. Again, we are here to give away a golden ticket, but still there is cash involved. $100,000 going to first place today. 20 for second, 10 for third. Everybody gets paid in finals. Some of the highest stakes skateboarding. Here is Evan Smith. We've talked about Evan one, a lot. One, our last in our Having a ton of fun out here. Fire. You know what's rad Evan about Evan, Smith. too, is he engages the... This is right here, Monster making the cut. First nine club of the day. Yes! And this, Orlando, Florida. Evan Another with a nine Evan Smith. Yeah. in our prelims a little bit earlier today. Perfect backside 270 to front truck revert. Hype in the crowd. Keep, the, keep that crowd hyped. That right there, Monster making the cut. Evan Smith qualifying in in first place. That's why he's skating last. 
Evan Smith. He gets to sit back and watch how everyone does it. Oh, he ain't gonna sit down. He's going full speed. Nice. Alley-oop frontside Ollie. Listen to the crowd right now. There's that fakey 5 -oh. drops the truck down. Nice Wally up. Real street right there. There's that backside 360 nose grab to rock and roll. There's one we've never seen in the street league before. Nose grind fakey. Very difficult trick on that tight transition. <laughs> Don't think he wanted that one to start grinding, but when it did, he's grabbed his board and tried to jank it in. Having some fun. It's the Benny Hahn, and that one's for the crowd. And probably just for himself. Evan, he just looks different than the other guys. 7.6, Evan now in fourth place. We are one run in, and Luan Oliveira in the top with a 9.1. The highest score so far of the competition. Stick around though, we have run number two after the break. Street League Skateboarding Nike SB World Tour is presented by Nike SB. And brought to you in part by GoPro, the world's most versatile camera and by PacSun, official retailer of Street League Skateboarding. Welcome back to Center in Los Angeles. Here is our beautiful course being built. Let's check out our GoPro course preview to see how it's skated. My name is Evan Smith, and we're here to do the GoPro course preview. So. We're here in Los Angeles, crazy cool course. I know, course colors are really essential. We got yellow, white, gray, black. I haven't quite made it to the middle of the course yet. So we should go peep that. Big drop. Where's the one at? We got Nigel Houston in the house. What's up, Nigel? Let me get a what up. What up? Straight up. Dude, the course is hectic. All right, let's hit that thing. Oh, if I got it. And you keep going over here. You got a beautiful five foot court, five perfect coping. Oh, you can go up this thing and just kind of go. This thing goes. That's it for the GoPro course preview. I'm out. Catch you guys later. That's Evan Smith with our GoPro course preview. And here's our current standings right now. Our next man in is going to be Kelvin Hoffler. He's in sixth place overall. Luan Oliveira, after our first runs, in the top. Kelvin warming up. Kelvin right off a fresh, great first run. Excellent first run. See if he can follow that one up. Started off our finals really well. Some great runs. Starting off on the tranny, so he gets some good speed. Look at that crowd, packed out today, packed out. Gets the go ahead. Kelvin Hoffler is in. Oh. Always oh, difficult that first trick. Always oh, difficult. You lose your pace. Brings it right back. Back zone A nose grind. Kelvin's one of our newer guys here at Street League. He qualified in at Tampa Pro this year. Ended up in third place overall. He's very comfortable on every aspect of this course. It's like kick flip. Up nose slide 270. A little bit dicey on the out. Nice little smile there though, keep it fun. Oh, going for the quick combinations. That was a crazy fall. Got out unscathed though. Crowd shows due respect. Gets a 5.0. Kelvin Hoffler in the top spot. As you can see, both of our scores are in there. Chris Cole in next. Now talk about diverse skateboarder. This guy can pretty much skate anything. He's great on transition, great on flat banks, ledges, rails, flat ground, technical, burly. Pretty much everything, the whole bag. Chris has been looking great though this year. He has, he's been looking really confident. He's came out with a load of new tricks this year too. Seen a bunch of great stuff on the internet of him lately. 
Nice blunt slide. 20 seconds. I also like that he's doing a lot of forward tricks and faking yeah, yeah, and switch yeah, yeah. and nolly using the, every part of his board. Now, when you say nolly and you say switch, what are we talking about? Well, nolly's coming off the front of the board. Switch is when you ride with your opposite foot forward. Kind of like other sports in golf, everyone favors one way or another, and some guys can just do it every which way. This is one of them. 8.0 for Chris Cole on his second run. Chris Cole now in the lead, 14.6. Nija Houston in next. Nija qualified in sixth place. He's in fifth overall with a 7.7. .7. He needs a 7.0 to get up in the top spot. Now, Nige is a guy that's well known for doing really big tricks, really big technical tricks. You don't, people don't think he's that good on tranny, but when you see tricks like he just did there with a the kickflip fakey, he's shown you that he can adapt to pretty much any terrain and still win the contest. So he's still that guy to beat. Nice crooked grind transfer. It's called a transfer. Came from one side, bouncing over to the other side of the rail. Stepping up his tranny game. Coming down, landing on the flat there. All right, 10 seconds left. 10 seconds. Nice big spin. Looking very relaxed. He's looking like he's not having any problems whatsoever. That is time. Oh, nice. So he didn't pop before time was out. So that won't count. I don't think the kickflip frontside nose grind is going to count for him. 8.4. Maybe. Nigel Houston in first place, bumping Chris Cole into second. Kelvin Hoffler in third. Still five skaters to go. Chaz Ortiz in next. Chaz originally from Chicago. A fierce competitor, very consistent. He's always done really well in the run section. He's a very seasoned contest skater. Another guy that you don't think is that good on transition until you see him do tricks like that. He can ride transition well. Oh, nice. Kickflip backside tail slide big spin. Technical trick right there. It's your blunt backside disaster. 360 kickflip, put a great run together. Backside 360 Ollie. A lot of tricks in a small amount of time. Oh. Five seconds for Chaz Ortiz. What's he going to end this with? Whoa! The whole length of the rail. That the was a serious length. run for Chaz Ortiz right there at the end. His second run, 8.9. Chaz Ortiz now moving up, bumping Nigel Houston down into second. Things are changing on the leaderboard. This course is really changing up the way people are skating. What an awesome run. Here's a look at the SLS season on Fox Sports 1. We're in Newark, New Jersey on Sunday, August 23rd, and then SLS Nike SB Super Crown World Championship in Chicago on Sunday, October 4th. Evan Smith is coming in next. Stick around, more on Fox Sports 1. Welcome back. We are at the Galen Center in Los Angeles, California. It is the first arena stop of the 2015 SLS Nike SB World Tour. The crowd is having a good time. Look at that. They are stoked out there. And we are ready to go with Ryan Desenzo on run number two here in the run section. All right, back to competition with Ryan Desenzo. Our format here, two runs, then five attempts in best trick. All about your top four scores. Desenzo's in. Nice strong start right there. Kickflip kick nose slide. slide. Tail slide 270. Two we've seen Ryan do a lot of times in contests. Hidden switch. Nice switch tail slide. Right into the tranny to a Smith. Makes that nolly heel flip we've seen him bail in the first run. What's he setting up for? Five seconds. Oh! The one trick I never expect Ryan Desenzo to bail. He bails. Or slams on more like. This is a look at our scoreboard. 
can see Desenzo right now is down in, he's up in, he's up in fifth place with that 6.7. You can see his top two attempts. Okay. All our guys in gray have already gone. The ones in blue yet to go. And our man in yellow is up. That's okay. Cody McIntyre. He looks like he's ready. He looks like he's ready right before that. Wow. There we go. That's the first time, I've, second time I've seen him bail the whole day. He is very consistent. This is his first time in an arena ever at Street League. Qualified in in Barcelona, narrowly escaped qualifying in at Tampa Pro this year. He came back in Barcelona and made it happen. You wouldn't know it though. You wouldn't think he's a Street League rookie when you look at him skate. Looks very, very confident. Very confident, very focused, and is making all of his tricks. Oh, wow, how did he get away with that one? Almost snapped the tail off the board. He's got bird bones. Oh. Cody McIntyre, great second run. The Nolly Big Spin heel flip right there. The cherry on top. Here's another look. Beautiful pop off there, flicks it with the back foot. Big spin heel flip. Little boo just gets that make. Impeccable, impeccable balance. Cody McIntyre gets a 7.6, now in third place overall. He is steady in third. He qualified in in third. He's hanging out in third place. And Luan Oliveira. Crowd favorite. People's champ right here. Inspiration for the course. And probably the most technical skateboarder in the world. Along with the funnest guy to watch. So spontaneous for how technical he is. Front side feeble. A little disaster on the on the quarter pipe. Is that Nolly heel flip in? Getting a lot of tricks in in his amount of time. Nice clean switch tail side 270. Switch front side kick flip. Is that front side kick flip disaster? Luan's on fire right now. He is on fire. Boom! Oh. A baker maker. So close at the end. 9.1 on his first run. He needs an 8.1 if he wants to get into first. And an 8.0. So he is tied with Chaz Ortiz. Luan Oliveira, the crowd is reacting. They're loving it. Here's a GoPro replay. There's that switch. What do we have here? Switch tail slide. Spins it out, 270, landing fakie. Like you were saying, switch favoring the opposite foot. Yeah, but with Luan, you can never tell. He looks too clean. Evan Smith in next. Last man to go. He's going eighth because he qualified in in first place. Such an awesome skateboarder to watch. High energy, a definite crowd favorite, and a rookie. He qualified in in Barcelona. Oh, yes. Gets the alley oop front side 180. For Ali frontside Ollie. Oh, misses that one again. Hanging in, trying to make it 5 0, but hits both trucks down. 5 0 is only one truck, the back one. Boom! Whoa, the way he tucked up right there. Talk about style. Talk about old school flair, baby. Nice 50 50. 10 seconds for Evan Smith. Boom! Going full bore on that one, trying to frontside kick flip, and he was going to grab it stale fish, which is when you grab with the backhand behind the back foot. Whoa! Evan mixing it up. We haven't seen a lot of Evan, though, in that center area. No, we haven't. We haven't. It'd be interesting to see when he gets his five attempts what he, what he favors, whether he sticks to the tranny or switches it up. That does it for both runs. And Luan Oliveira in the lead, tied with Chaz Ortiz right now, 17.1. Lots more to come, though, with our five best tricks after this. Welcome back. We are in beautiful Los Angeles, California, the birthplace of skateboarding at the Galen Center. What an appropriate place to have our first arena stop of the 2015 Street League season. The guys are gearing up 
We're about to get going on the best trick section. These guys are going to have five attempts, and it's all about their top four scores overall. Now it's time for the look back presented by PacSun. We've got Luan Oliveira right now tied for first place with Chaz Ortiz. There's a look at switch tail 270. Here's Chaz Ortiz. Both guys looking so confident and so comfortable as we continue on into our best trick cont best trick section. Here's our format. We've got the run section under our belt, two 45 second runs, and then the best trick section yet to come. Five attempts, but it's all about their cumulative four scores. So it's seven scores total, and it's about the top four. Now, different from last year, we are not eliminating anyone in between the run and the best trick. This is a good time to talk about the lack of impact section. We're so used to having a huge set of stairs or big rails or big hubbas, and it's really kind of absent from this course. It's good, though. It's fun. You've got to switch each, each venue up. You know, you've got to level that playing field. You've got to allow guys with different skill sets to blossom, you know? We'll see how Desenzo starts. Oh, big old frontside kickflip. Kind of called that one, too. He likes it. Huge, you know? That was big. Desenzo, 7.9. Solid score to start things off. Now in second place. Oh, up into first with a 20.3. Kelvin Hoffler in next. Kelvin, super technical. He qualified in at Tampa Pro. This is his first time ever in the arena here at Street League. Oh, effortless, that. Kick flip frontside nose grind. Right to his feet. Hop right out of it, too. Needs a 7.9 if he wants to get up into first place. Push Desenzo down. And a 7.9, oh, he, he gets it. Good for him, man. That's sweet. Great skateboarder. Super humble. And Evan Smith. This guy says it's all about having a good time. Whoever has the most fun wins. It's all about full speed. See it, Evan? Oh, oh, goes for that gap to nose grind. Difficult trick right there. Full speed, then balancing. You can get in bad shape doing that. So that's Evan's first zero. He's got seven total. It's all about the top four. Chris Cole in next. Chris has some of the highest nine clubs. He's got nine overall in history. Oh, great stuff. Backside with a nose grind revert. Now, although that rail's not tall, not particularly long, it's important to note that that was a very technical, difficult trick that we've never seen anyone do in Street League before on a bar. He gets an 8.1. The judges reward him. Chris Cole in the top, 22.7. Cody Mack now in. He destroyed his quarter pot early on. Oh, nice, and he fully deck checked that. Is that going to do it? Is that going to be enough to get him up in first? He needs a 7-7. I would say so, yeah. Oh, 6 .9. Oh, it's a little lower. That was a difficult trick. So Cody Mack, second place. Nigel Houston, currently in seventh. We've seen him back in that place before, though. He's going to work his way up right now. There you go. What was that? Well, that was a front side 180 going all the way around to a switch backside 5 0 reaver, I guess. And a 180 out. There you go. 8.8. .8. Nigel Houston in first. That's all it takes for him. Sets up for that over rotate 180 to the fakey nose grind and reverts it out. Landing on his toes on the front foot. Nigel Houston in the top spot. Chaz Ortiz in next. Currently seventh. So that's 17-1. Oh, nice. Backside nose blood slide. Scary trick to do on a ledge like that, so flat with your back to the ground. 7.1, not uh, Chaz Ortiz now in second place, chasing Nigel Houston. 0.7 behind him. And Luan Oliveira. Luan tied with Chaz Ortiz coming into this. That's why he's going last. Setting up switch. Oh, his body weight just got a little bit ahead of himself there. So do you think that right there is going to throw him off? You know, Luan, he makes it into the finals all the time. But man, 
Luan Oliveira, can he hang on? That's his first zero. Here's another look at Nigel Houston putting down that huge score that put him up into first. More after this on Fox Sports 1. Welcome back, Street League fans. We are here at the Galen Center in Los Angeles, California. It's 2015 SLS Nike SB World Tour. A look at our current standings. Nigel Houston in the top spot. 24.9, Chaz Ortiz chasing him with that 24.2, and Chris Cole in third. Here's our format. We saw earlier two runs, 45 seconds each. We are now in the best trick section. We've got one attempt under our belts. They're going to have four more. It is all about their cumulative top four scores. And our man in, Ryan Desenzo. Desenzo 7.9 on his first attempt. What has he got for us? Oh, kick flip nose blunt slide. A trick that only he can make that look so simple and yet so difficult. Needed a 4-7 if he wanted to get into first. Desenzo gets an 8.0, 28.3 total. Kelvin Hoffler in next. Kelvin's down in sixth with that 20.4. He needs an 8-0 to get up into first. Oh, yeah. Half cap to nose slide, then switches it to backside tail slide. Back fakey, a lot of moves in that trick. Look at him, he's so excited. <laughs> 8.6, wow, yeah. huge score for Kelvin Hoffler. That's going to stoke him out. Look at him, top spot now. Coming in fakey, knocking it into half cap nose size. Quick switch to back tail slide fakey. Need some quick feet for that one. Very solid. So 29 for Kelvin Hoffler. The next in, the wild card, Evan Smith. One of the most charismatic and creative skaters we have in Street League. And you never know what he's going to do. We saw him try that front side nose grind on the last one, gapping from quarter pipe to quarter pipe. Starting on the other side of the course, though, this time around. Oh, nice 360 Ollie nose grab. You don't see a lot of guys grab that trick for good reason. Very difficult to know where you're spinning. So easy to under, under, easy to over rotate or under rotate. 7.8 for Evan Smith on attempt number two. Alright, so a 21.5. So Evan in seventh place. Score. Chris Cole, you know, we that talked about his Chris score Cole earlier. Why don't we take a look at the Nike SB Cole. Tech Talk and revisit it? Well. If you want to talk about innovation and progression, you're seeing it right here. Comes in forward, goes backside 180 into a fakey nose grind, but over rotates it and then reverts it. Difficult, very, lot of movement, a lot of tricks in a short space. Made it look like nothing. That's Chris Cole. One of the good scores getting him in here at 8-1. This has looked great all season. Oh! Nice style on that one. I like the way he caught the board sideways. How much will that hand down affect him as, as far as scores are concerned? He'll he take some scores. He'll definitely take some scores. He'll judge him accordingly. 4.1. Chris Cole in third place. Right, Cody McIntyre, new guy on the tour. First time in the arena. No shakes. Doing a great job. Oh, misses it. Just trying to get a front truck on that, so it'd be technically a pivot kick flip fakey, but gets away from him. It's one of the very few times we've seen him fall all weekend. We'll Nigel Houston in next. Nigel's in fourth right now. 24.9. He needs a 4.2 to get up into first. He's one of those nines that he's never had a problem getting. He's got 10 nine clubs. Oh, wow. Oh, there we go. Eight point one. Nigel Houston in the top again. Thirty-three. Is he going to do it again? We're going to see in a moment. There's a backside one eighty to overcrook. Locks it in fakey. Very well composed. Risky trick. Chaz Ortiz sitting in fifth place with that twenty-four-two. He needs an eight-nine to get up in the top spot. Oh, nice. Take the front side feeble. 
Good trick. Probably not enough to get him there. 7.8. Moves him up into second place. Let's see some Luan Heat. Looks like he's going in switch. There's that switch frontside kick flip. Listen to this crowd. They love this guy. That's the problem. They absolutely love this guy. People's champ. 7.9, Luan Oliver in sixth place. With two attempts under our belt, Nigel Houston is in the top. Oh, the crowd is reacting. Not into that score. We will see, though, if he can step it up. Here's Nigel Houston. Lots more to come. Can he do it here on Fox Sports 1? There's never really been a formula for skating and how to make it per se, but now it's like an actual chance to like, all right, you want to make it in Street League? This is what you need to do. We're in Chicago, Illinois, Damn Am Select Series. It's for everybody. It's from uh, the dudes that are winning Damn Ams all over the country to the new kids on the block hoping to get on the podium one day. Skating the contest, you get nervous, but like once you're in there, like you don't really like listen to anybody. You just like do your own thing when you're in there. Yeah, I want to be a pro, but. I guess I'll just see what happens, hopefully. This is pretty much all I got, you know? So I'm not beating to get sponsored, but if I get a pro board, dude, when I grow up, oh man, when I'm in my 20s, dude, if I get a pro board, it's over, it's over. All the kids are gonna be going crazy, I could imagine it. So. When I heard that they were gonna do the Select Series through Damn M, I was so ecstatic. A super blessing to like everybody to, to be able to skate this contest again and be able to qualify for such a big event that has like some of the world's best skateboarders in it. The chance to get in Street League is huge, man. Like, to be able to compete with, like, all those guys. It'd be, like, a pretty big accomplishment because, like, everybody watches Street League. Like, it's such a big thing. I'm coming for first place next year. If we come back, I'm coming for first. <laughs> Low key, but everyone is. That's the hard part. Everyone is. It's definitely, like, a boost of, like, confidence and, like, a super good motive to want to just, like, skate even harder and do good at these events. For them to, like, just put you in there, have all eyes on you, I'm sure is the thing that people are gonna be like, wow, okay, this guy needs to be taken seriously. That was our road to Super Crown. We're back in the Galen Center right now in the best trick section. We've seen two runs, 45 seconds each, five attempts overall in our best trick. This is a look at our current leaderboard, Nyjah Houston in the top spot with a 33.0. No stranger to victory here. Can he do it yet again? He's got the last five wins under his belt, all last season and our first stop in Barcelona. Is he going to get dethroned here today? Ryan Desenzo coming in for his third attempt in the best trick section. It's all about your cumulative top four scores. Desenzo in. Hitting at full speed. Oh! On the rotate, that hard flip, oh. that's why he landed and squirreled right, so out. They call that squirreling fail. out. He's got four scores. Great terminology. <laughs> so Desenzo's got four scores on the board right now. The next two, it's all about outdoing his lowest so score. Well. Four scores Kelvin, four scores, scores on the board. His lowest is a 5.0. He needs to average an 8.2 overall. He needs to get 8.2 for the next three attempts if he wants to get in there and be in first. Oh, going for broke right there, trying to get that back 7-8 kick flip to fake nose grind. That's going to boost up the average that he needs to get. It's a good tactic then. Kelvin all the way from Brazil. Next guy in, Evan Smith. He still only has three scores. He needs to post another one. He's got three attempts to do it. What do you think, Jeff? He's winding up for the tranny again. Oh, ah, man. Going for the gap to nose grind and pull it back fakey, but just didn't quite get that rotation on the hip and went down hard. That's what happens when you under rotate, it grabs you and it throws you out of the ground. He was going so fast, too. He's lucky he didn't really get hurt right there. Chris Cole's got four, four scores on the board, 4.1 uh, 4 being his lowest. 
There's that oh, onside hot cap flip. That's when he got the 4.1 on. He put his hand on the ground. Showing the experience right there. 7.6, boosting him up into third place. Now his next lowest score, 6.6. Cody McIntyre, look at how focused he looks. How serious, he's ready. He's like, let me in now, I'm ready. Tried that Peter Blunt kick flip on the last one. We'll see if he goes for it again. Yep, there we go. Back truck. Pivot, kick the peggy. Right, he has an average of 8 5, what he needs to get for the next three. 7.3. Moving up four scores on the board. Cody McIntyre probably feeling good about that. Now he needs to outdo that 6.9. Nigel Houston in next. In first place with a 33 overall. His lowest score, a 7.7. .7. All the other ones are in the eights. That's what makes Nigel so great. Still three attempts. That's another, that shows another level. Right, He's on go. a very, very high right, level of skateboard. There's that cat kick flip. I think he landed with more speed than he took off with right there. Talk about textbook landing. 8.6. Nyjah, once again, all four eights. Here's another look. Coming in fake, he's spinning full cab, which is a 360 rotation, flipping it, riding away nice and smooth. Evan likes that one, teammate. Chaz Ortiz in next. Needs an 8-4 on his next three. He wants to get up there. Oh, goes technical. Kick flip in, kick flip out. No. In second right now. Luan Oliveira, three scores on the board, three more attempts. Everyone, you can tell, everyone here wants to see something from him. It's palpable. You can just feel it in the arena. Going Nolly. Nolly packs that kickflip. So much authority right there on the stomp down. Lands about seven foot past the, the object. 8.2 in second nice. place, bumping Chaz Ortiz down. Coming after Nyjah Houston. The one setting up, popping Nolly, front of the board. Perfect rotation 180. Look the at that. The front foot catch on that was beautiful. Great style, too. So he's now got four on the board. That right there is our trophy. We're going to crown a champion here very shortly. Stick around for our next two here on Fox Sports 1. The Street League Skateboarding Nike SB World Tours presented by Nike SB and brought to you in part by GoPro, the world's most versatile camera, and by Monster Energy. Welcome back, you guys. We are here in Los Angeles, California at the Galen Center. Attempts four and five coming up next. We've seen a lot of tricks this weekend and today. So why don't we look at the Nike SB Trick Tree Double Take to find out a little more right, from Paul Rodriguez. Here's Paul Rodriguez for a breakdown of one of his staples, the half cab heel flip. As you can see, he starts things off with a fakie ollie. Next, he adds that fakie 180, which we call a half cab. Last but not least, adding in the fakie heel flip. Combine all three of those, and you get a half cab heel flip. Our current standings as we go into attempt four and five. Nyjah Houston in the lead, 33.9. Luan Oliveira in second with a 33.2. Can Nyjah stay in the top spot, or is Luan, Chaz Ortiz, Chris Cole, can somebody outdo him here in Los Angeles? Find out right now. We have attempts four and five coming up. Ryan Desenzo is going to be our first one in. Ryan down in seventh place. He's going to need an average of a 9.1 on the next two if he wants a shot at victory. Desenzo coming in with a lot of speed. Oh, again, that hard flip gets away from him. You might have, might have felt that one. 
Looks like he came down his hip, which you always feel up your leg into your back. Hopefully he's okay. I think he, he looks like he's more disappointed than he is hurt. I think it's a bit of both. Those hips are delicate. Here's another look. Let's see where it went wrong. Caught it. Oh, it back, came off his feet right before he hit the ground. That's where the pain came in. It looked like he hit the hubba just right there at the end. It looked like his tail hit it. So that is going to be another zero for Ryan DeCenzo. Kelvin Hoffler in next. He's been looking great today. His lowest score of 5.0. He can definitely outdo that. Needs an 8-8 average to get in there. Oh, again. This is that strategy part of it again. We seen him try that on the attempt before. All right, that Missed him right that time too. Evan, Evan wants it yes, he wants it up, he wants full speed, he's going to drop in. Two more tries for Evan Smith. Yeah. Where is he going? The crowd's excited. Here it is. Oh, going again for that frontside kick flip stalefish. And then this is for the crowd for fun. Boom, again. Do you think that's the lack of experience right there? No, he refused to be. Locked down. He's, you never know what he's going to do, and he won't let you pin him down. You can't chain that guy. You can't chain him. And that's why he's so awesome. All right, Chris Cole. This man, though, definitely has a strategy. Well versed here at Street League. Where's he going? Oh, and I'll tell you what, for how difficult that trick was, he wasn't that far away from making that. Almost got that board to rotate as he spun around. So his lowest score right now is a 6.6. He's coming in switch, gets that nice front side kick flip, doesn't quite. One of those feet got in the way. It was primo almost the whole way down. So Chris Cole is going to have one more. Cody McIntyre, look at that focus. He doesn't look nervous. He looks super comfortable. He looks like a vet, although he's a rookie here. Toothpick in the mouth. Everybody has missed so far. Let's see if he can turn that, can turn that table. Oh, -ho! no, no. So close. So every single skater has missed. We are five, four guys in right now. Going for that nolly big spin heel flip, which he usually does every single go makes it but if you look at that land and that body weight just got a little bit ahead of himself couldn't pull it back boom what do you think it is jeff you think it's just nerves getting to everybody no it's the level of skateboard and every now and again you miss your tricks and when you miss them tricks like that you do everything you can to stay on look he's doing everything he can to stand right back up boom so close he's gonna have another attempt though nigel houston so everybody has fallen if he makes this, it is only going to get him closer to winning. Oh, unreal. Backside overcrook the whole length across the flat of the rail and down it. Extremely difficult, extremely long way to balance that trick. 8-2, outdoing that 8.1 that he had. And we have the replay locking in nicely to that overcrook. Look at that All back right. foot, the way his toes were on that, just so that keeping hold. It's called oh, a crooked because you can see the way his board's crooked, crooked over the rail. Pops it back out. Made it look like nothing. Nigel Houston, 34.0. Chaz Ortiz, two guys left. Hopefully he broke the curse. These next two guys will make it. Come on, Chaz, let's see it. Yeah! Unreal! Woo! Chaz Ortiz! In your face, Los Angeles, in your face. He needs an 8-5 average to get up into first. Is that going to be enough? 8-2 right there. Chaz Ortiz in third. Oh, the crowd. Clean kick flip, landing tail. Locking it back fake. He doesn't get cleaner than that. There's a different angle, as you can see. Nice and smooth. Paul Zitzer brought it up earlier, you know, this crowd here, very well versed in skating, they know what's going on, so they're reacting. Luan Oliveira, second place, needs that 8-4 average yeah. to get up into first. Riding up switch. Oh, no! Oh, man. 
doesn't quite get that bullet to go around. The entire crowd feeling that. The one locking up switch. Pushing that switch, big spin heel flip, catches it, but then his feet just come off, little under rotation. He's smiling as he's slamming. It's the way to do it, ladies and gentlemen. So this is it, attempt number five. Nigel Houston in the top spot, 34.0. Desenzo cannot win this. 7-8 though to get up into fourth. Oh, going for broke right there. He went going out in blaze of glory. Only Nigel Houston and Luan Oliveira have scored in round four. Crazy. That's incredible. We're seeing quite a few zeros. Like you said, the level is unbelievable. So Kelvin needs a 9-3 if he wants to get up into second place. He's going to be unable to bump Nigel Houston out. This one's strictly for the kicks. He could still get into second, though. For the best in the world, that's not bad. Oh, gets a little closer to that trick. Putting a lot of pressure on himself, you can see. Great session, though. He skated great. Evan Smith is in next. He needs something big to continue to move up. He's only got three on the board. It comes down to this last one. He won't be able to win, but the crowd loves him. Like he said, it's all about who's having the most fun. Spontaneous combustion on the street. I, I just hope he makes this one. Everyone here wants it. I'll tell you what, he's going to give it 110%. Ah! No! That one's going to hurt. Going down hard. That one's going to hurt. That's like jumping off a building and landing with your whole body twisted up and still trying to walk away. You can, <laughs> you can tell he's feeling it, but he's still having a good time. It's, all these guys are so used to slamming and come second to them, second nature. Chris Cole cannot win right now. He needs a 9-6 if he wants to get second place. Well, I'll tell he's going to need something huge. I'll tell you what, that trick that he tried last time around and the trick it looks like he's setting up for right now, it's going to be a big score if he makes it. Coming in switch. Chris Cole! Oh! And again, he didn't get quite get it to flick, but he still tried to make it. Solid performance, though, from Chris Cole here at the Galen Center. So we are getting down to it. Four more guys to go. Can anyone beat Nigel Houston, or is he going to lock up his sixth victory in a row? Cody Mack cannot win right now. That's going to put the pressure on Luan or Chaz. Cody needs an 8.0 for fourth place. Look at how much speed he's got. Boom! Nails it! Boom, boom, boom! Nolly big spin heel flip. He's an 8 love that. 8.7. Good score. Cody Mack in fourth place. Not bad at all for a rookie his first time in the arena. Gets that trick he tried in the last attempt. Makes it clean as a whistle. He is going to be a force to be reckoned with this season. We are down to the money end right now, Nelson. We have three skaters. Very excited to see him out there in New Jersey. This is the money end exactly. 10, 20, and 100 grand on the line, as well as a So, Nigel Houston, your current Nigel leader, has one locked up. his lowest score right now is an 8.2. 8 Nigel's won the last five Street League events. Is it going to be six right here? Look at the crowd. We've got a mixed bag right here. Oh, oh and a crooked grind. That's not going to be enough to outdo that 8.2. That wasn't the trick that was in his head. He just lost his foot for a second there and still made the trick. 2.5. That opens up a door, though. Locks into that crooked grind. I think he was going to try and flip out, but then he just lost it and had to just pop out. Didn't quite get that control he needed. This is going to open the door for Luan Oliveira or Chaz Ortiz. 
It is possible Both that guys Nigel are capable may be of doing dethroned. That. He needs an 8.8 .8 for first. He had an 8.9 in the run section. Chaz Ortiz could do it. Come on, Chaz. But will he? Will he the make magic. it? The crowd is on their feet. Optimism, optimism, let's see it. The look on his face right there, priceless. He's gonna contain himself. All right, here we go, getting the go ahead. Chaz dropping in. Kick quick. Oh, so close, he gets his feet on. That's the Street League final shake right there. Didn't quite get that flip in, flip out. It all comes down now to Luan Oliveira. Luan helped design the course. You can see it, everyone here wants it. Here's a look. There's that kick, flip back tail, flip out that Chaz just missed. Just under rotated, flicked it a little too much. He was about to use his hand to stay on his board. Whatever it takes, guys, whatever it takes. All comes down to this right here. This is it. If Naja can be beaten, it's gonna happen right now from Luan Oliveira. Breathe, Luan, let's see it. Bring out that magic. Let's see that tiger's blood. He has been in the finals quite a few times. He's got plenty of nine clubs. He needs an 8-8 eight, eight if he wants to get into first. Look at him, gearing up. Gearing up for getting down. You can see there the nervous energy. Hopefully he can channel it. Come on, man. Locks it up, switch, big spin, heel flip, lands about six foot past the obstacle. Beauty. There's that other angle of the champ's move. Look at that catch. Beautiful. That's called bolts, ladies and gentlemen. You land on the bolts. And there is Nigel's reaction. He knew as soon as he made that, could be an 8-8, now do him. Nigel was stoked, man, he was stoked. Unbelievable, we have a new winner, and Jordan Whitley is down there with him right now. Jordan, what is it like down there on the course? I cannot even begin to describe this moment. I'm going to let Luan do that. Your first Street League win came down to the last trick. What was going through your mind before you dropped in? I don't know. I was trying to do what I always do, you know, just having fun and skate with my friends. And uh, I don't know, it worked out. I worked hard for this, you know. I've been skating every week, every month, and yeah, it happened. 
you moved to tears and you're here with fellow Brazilian Bob Bernquist. I mean, how do you describe the emotions of this moment? I, I, I can't explain. I, I felt like my, my grandma passed away five years ago and I felt like she was with me right now. So I'm blessed. I just, I just got to thank God. I got to thank everybody that came to come out and let's see, I'm stoked. Thanks a lot, guys. Congratulations for your grandma and for everyone here in LA. Give it up for Luan Oliveira, guys. That genuine emotion right there, so unreal. Such a fierce competitor, Luan Oliveira has done it. Here's another look at the last trick that did it for him and crowned him the champ here in LA for our 2015 first stop in the arena. Here's a look at the monster highest scored trick of the day. It was Luan Oliveira in his first run, that 9.1 staying strong throughout the whole competition. Clean ass hard flip, perfect landing, textbook style. Luan Oliveira killed it all day long. As you can see, super happy with that one. Luan Oliveira victorious here today. These are our overall championship qualification points. Nigel Houston in the top spot, 280 points. Chaz Ortiz right now in second, 242. And Luan Oliveira in third with 234. You can see Luan Oliveira and Nigel Houston, their names in yellow because they are now qualified directly into the Super Crown. And this is a look at the winning trick from Luan Oliveira. Beautiful switch, big spin, heel flip. Takes it home, crowd favorite. There's our winner. Luan Oliveira emerged victorious. He dethroned Nyjah Houston after five straight victories. Nyjah Houston has now been beaten. Look at that stoke. Crowd's going wild for it. Overtaken with emotion. It was absolutely unbelievable. Luan Oliveira winning his first ever street league here in Los Angeles. Here's a look at the SLS season on Fox Sports 1. We're in Newark, New Jersey on Sunday, August 23rd, and the SLS Nike SB Super Crown World Championship in Chicago on Sunday, October 4th. That does it for us here in Los Angeles. Be sure to tune in for the next stop of the SLS Tour, August 23rd, live in New Jersey. You'll see all the SLS action live right here on Fox Sports 1. So for Jeff Rowley, Jordan Whitley, Paul Zitzer, and myself, so long, Los Angeles.